haven't seen a fire yet. Oh. <laughs> You've got a front row seat. There's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Oh. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No it is fine. Way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Fun, but also, you know. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode two of my Firewatch playthrough. The first one I really enjoyed, I really liked. I found out that I know the guy that is the voice actor. He's from Mad Men. Um, so I'm really enjoying it already. So let's get straight into episode two. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused That's... them some trouble, but nothing major. I'd never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. What am I supposed right, to do? Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Damn, so these girls went missing. So, do you reckon I've got dementia? Henry. Henry, wake up. Uh oh. Oh, shoot. I've been broken into again. Get out of bed oh. and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. What? Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, this is really sad. That's good. Then. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. That's weird. Day 33. What am I doing down here? Hike north to retrieve. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? That is anyway, unfair. When you find a supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. Okay. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. So what am I supposed to do? We'll go directly north. So, like, two weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and oh. I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay. You know, no. When it comes to her. Definitely not doing okay. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. 
We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Javier? He's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. Oh, yeah. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's Once. brother got killed working in Gillette. And <sighs> for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. Oh. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. Yeah, good. We both fucked up. All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just Who's yours, this? right? Who do you think I am? Oh, I just saw something I don't think I was supposed to have seen. I haven't seen a fire yet. Oh. <laughs> You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm going to call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. What? And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Ooh. Maybe the flapjack fire. Uh, maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? <laughs> I didn't know you liked that stupid joke. Well, I did. I mean, it was my second day. I didn't feel as, um, Diffusive. dude. <laughs> yeah. She's sure. going to be Diffusive. like, it's going to be something like that, isn't it? Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. <gasps> I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. She hasn't got a light on. You just need a new good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Is she coming on to me? At the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. I am. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Should we be like putting it out? Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? But we've never met. Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios. We could, um... You know... Well, we could just watch this fire. It's gonna burn for a long time. 
Yeah. 40 days later. God, we're flying through these. You're what? going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was fresh a crew tracks. burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Save that for later. Hey, the fireworks are back. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a diary. What the... Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Oh. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No Biggest fire. Way. Way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry, I'm worried. What is that? You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, oh, devastating. Look. Oh. Henry, are you there? What happened, Henry? Oh my god, I just got... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone... On, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> That's weird. What? the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore. Yeah, I'm following lake. it. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. An are old you, sweater. Are you sure you saw what what you saw? Yeah, Henry? I got. Maybe you pissed off some more campers, and they came back to sucker punch you. Put me back. I hope you don't let me out. Of, but this is how This just. Oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Are you are you sure you were actually attacked? Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst, and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but copy information. Look at this. Look. Was from two weeks ago. No, they were. So, what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. Why are we nervous? We should just get the hell out of here. It's a two-day hike. You're welcome to do it, but you're gonna catch hell from the service and have to explain yourself. Plus, there's a fire burning across Rose Creek. You hike through there on the way in. Call someone and tell them to come get me. I am not going to book a $15,000 helicopter ride for you. I'm not doing it. Okay, we we can't freak out. There's got to be a reasonable explanation for all of this. Like you're right. what? You're right. I'll, I'll head to Wapiti Meadow, but I swear, if this gets worse, you better get on the horn and get us out of here. I'll call around and see if anything weird is happening to anyone else, okay? Sounds good. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, 
I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? And what are the odds they left the gate on? Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. What do you mean? Actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. South of Ruby River. Scout camp. I'm miles away. What? Do you want me to ha ha like, to hike all the way down there? That's ridiculous. Something's going to happen, isn't it? Someone's going to cut this rope, aren't they? Oh, I really thought someone was going to cut that rope. <sighs> Ruby River. I assume it's that big s smoke. Uh, what's it called? Plume. Is that what it's called? That's really cool, though. Also, that is far away. I didn't even get to go fishing. Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah. Got the music back, guys. The music's back. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Do I go... This way. That's a long trek. Do I have to come all the way back as well? Surely not. Well, are, are the other lookouts telling the truth? Of course. Why wouldn't they be? I don't know. Maybe someone told them not to. You're suggesting that you and I are actually being watched by whom exactly? Someone else. <sighs> you know, people. Definitely. As opposed to what? Aliens? Mad scientists? The CIA? Wild separatists? The, the fucking Illuminati? Come on! Look, you should have seen this clipboard, Delilah. Yeah, I guess I should have. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry. 
Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here. Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians. I'm loving this, guys. Sorry, I'm not talking that much because I'm just really enjoying the story. Have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Doesn't make any sense. That tree doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this game, but I'm really interested to see how it ends. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Loads of random stuff. Terminal 7. The accidental survivor. And then one chance to die. I guess I can update. Is this with... Okay. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Right. Uh, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're Why not? extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm oh. extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Oh, southeast. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Oh. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how what wound this? up all this shit has me. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given yeah. what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, it's a free a engine. Pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you Camp have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it. I can't cross that. Well, folks kept stealing it. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Walk the ravine. Uh, this way? I'm not gonna run and jump. Here we go. Alright, we, we made it. That wasn't too bad of a hike. I'm at the camp. Great. Have a look around. If if anyone's still there, they might be able to help. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Interesting. I want to stomp out the fire. Have I stomped out already? There's no one here. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Got an axe. Damn. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Hmm. Huh. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's like a memo from their boss. 
that say anything of note? Uh, um. Next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Yeah, this is really odd. I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Oh, you know, probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. Yeah, I'm not yeah, liking sure. this. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Yeah. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds there good. We go. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Yeah, but they can hear what we're saying, right? You know what I mean? Are you there? I I had a thought. Uh -oh. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, That's w I don't like this. There's any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking this, guys. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. I don't like this. Lila, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Are you kidding right now? Did you not stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. Uh -oh. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Oh, what is there like? Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. Oh. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um... Internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um... That tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Call Radio me the moment you get there. Onward Creek. Down there. Okay. To south. Right. Towards the fire. I don't like. Dude, I'm lo I'm loving this game, but I'm also kind of scared. I'm kind of scared, guys. I don't like it. 
The whole hiking thing's really interesting. I feel like this is gonna like blow me away, you know? So I've gotta go south. A midday hike. So, cross over and then go right. I don't like this game. I thought it was going to be a nice game about hunting fires. I didn't know it was going to be a horror game. You know? That's cool. But I'm here. This is lovely. Now what? You said cool when we're there. Go to Cottonwood Creek. I'm scared. Well, have I not got the ability to call? I broke the game. Map updated. Is it over here? I couldn't be more in Cottonwood Creek if I tried. Here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. The, just one shame. Oh. The new radio. Got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? Uh-oh. I know that I'm scared. Uh-oh. None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking oh. state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. 
So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Am I just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you... Are you is any of this real? What? Mm. Are you serious? Maybe I'm... I'm just... Maybe I'm... Just losing my mind. <coughs> like Julia. And maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Henry! Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and... And you, He's a good Delilah, actor, Lee. you're not real. Henry, Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Okay. Smart. Henry, sweetie, I am real and this is happening. I'm as real as the sky is blue. Take a second and then call me back. I'm on your side. I don't. Okay, I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm headed towards the site. Although I'd rather go back and sleep and go in the morning, you know? Right, how did I get... Hey. Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that... Why would you do that? What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. And... I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. That's on you, love. And those girls are still missing. Yep. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. That's on her, though. Right? <laughs> that's on her. It's got nothing to do, do with me. I didn't, uh, I, as the transcript will show, I asked her to say. You know what I'm saying? I've got a feeling I'm about to get jumped. Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Ah, oh, fuck. How about you don't do that again? What's that? Oh, I thought it was blood. Clawed up tree. Great. I'm going to be chasing a minute, aren't I? Like a bear or something. I don't like this at all. I'm scared, man. I thought this was going to be nice. I thought this was going to be a nice game, guys. Been jump scared by a raccoon. Been beaten up. I'm not being followed though. That's a pro. I don't, I don't like this bit. God, guys, I'm not. I'm actually a little bit scared. I'm 
gonna keep keep it a buck for you guys. I'm a little bit scared. It's all right. I'm almost at the uh, Whippity Station or whatever it's called. Whippity. Someone's gonna like pop their head over, surely. And like cut the rope or something. That's why I keep think thinking it's gonna happen. And maybe because I keep thinking it, it's not gonna happen. Or maybe I'll lull myself into a full sense of security. And then it happens. You know? All right. <coughs> got stung by a bee. If you are, he's on site. Uh, government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area and any issues should be reported immediately. Okay. Look, this is like... Okay. This is an odd part of the map. And I'm scared. And sun, sun's getting low as well. What's that noise? Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big, 20-foot-tall transmission tower, and they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Interesting. This thing. They're doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? I mean, there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. Look at this thing. Uh-oh. Oh. Green light straight ahead. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I found their main monitoring desk. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my, our, people's movements. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. Four. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. I want to know what that thing finds. Look, you should get out before they come back. When it went green. Black box. I'm gonna get beaten in a minute, aren't I? Subjects. Oh crap. Oh shit. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like what? Stuff I... Guilt-ridden. Susceptible to influence. Unsure of Comprehensive explorer. Where's the stuff about Julian? 
There's nothing about Julian. Ready hikes or leaves. Never married, no kids. There's nothing about Julia. I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. Out. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? It says that you and your boyfriend are still together. Does it? What? Oh. We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. What is, nah, this we isn't should just legit. burn the place down. Think about it. Worst case scenario. Delilah. What? Think about it. I am, and I think it's insane. They'd be fucked. Yeah, and how about if that fire comes up the mountain, or someone were to die in it? We call it in? We call it in? Yeah, maybe. My God, Delilah, no. No yeah, way. Yeah, no, not. Maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, uh, so fucking wound up! Look, it's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Head back. I don't like that. Why is it not just teleported me back? I'm gonna get, like, beaten up in a minute. I'm gonna get beaten up. This this game's kind of scary. Yeah, I'm about to get something's gonna happen to me. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh oh. Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Oh, God. We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the yeah. forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except yeah, this, this is where there's going to be someone. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Oh, oh dude, I'm, I'm not having a good time, dude. Receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking I like this. is I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm going to follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Oh, dude, I thought something was going to What is that? Shit! Oh, sh- What? Uh-oh. Radio's off. Did 
examine strange bag. Did it drop? I did. The keys. What are the keys for? The cave. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, you know, basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah. Wasn't I'm she fine. drunk a second but ago? There's there's also a set of keys here. Now, I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, I like okay, let's it. just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Yeah, I know, oh. this is not cool. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. No. It's not you. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Oh, dude, this isn't cool. Is someone here? I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. He couldn't have been. He couldn't have been because I came up. Oh, a radio. Talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Oh my god, dude, this is getting out of control. Why would they show us the video? That doesn't sound like me. What's wrong? Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. I'm going down there now. Yeah, we don't go. have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's going to be in handcuffs. I mean, look, right now, like... We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we got to be honest and consistent. Right, where was the yeah. cave? I suppose you're right. I know. It was this way, wasn't it? It was down all the steps. God, I'm loving this game, guys. I'm loving this game. I really am. I'm really interested to see how it ends. Like, I assume there's some kind of... to me but now that I asked I kind of just wish I hadn't of course I didn't 
No way. They're just they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to happen though. Thanks, Henry. He turned on the receiver to get me to leave the cabin. Jesus, this is a big cave. Oh, I don't like this, guys. I don't like this at all. That's gonna fall. It's nope. freezing in here. Oh, the echo. Is anybody down there? Oh, this is scary. Right, here we go. Oh, I don't like these climbs, they're so dramatic. I'm stuck. at all. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No. The, Do this. There's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back oh. to the course and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. So he was trying to figure out how to get his thing back. Mav. Oh. Someone sobbed, say thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god, that just made me ship, dude. Someone just subscribed to the YouTube channel. Someone just subscribed. I'm not live right now. Someone just subscribed to the YouTube channel and it shipped me up. Why are my alerts on? What the hell? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I mean, that doesn't look safe at all. So someone knows I'm here because they locked me into the. What do you think is in there? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? What was Whatever in the cave? Is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just. Bashed your head in with a rock. Yeah, or that's what I don't get. A... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yeah, especially now that I'm thinking about all the fun ways to be killed. I'm sorry. Yeah. Look, at least whoever locked you in doesn't know you've gotten out. Hopefully you find whatever they're hiding in there and it'll be worth the risk. That's a good point. Does he think I'm still in there? He thinks I'm still in there, gonna die in there. Surely he would know that there was an exit. No, he wouldn't have, would he? Girls turned up. Looks like oh. you didn't kill them. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. Yeah, I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. You're 
probably right. Okay, here we go, guys. We're going deeper. For Dude, I'm so obsessed with this game, man. And we're going down, guys. We're going down into the cave. I'm very scared for this next part. <laughs> 